Is there anything I should be doing? They appear to have everything under control. I knew it was going to happen sometime. I mean, I knew he wasn't going to make some amazing recovery, but still. I thought with the stuff I read, watch, I'd be more prepared somehow. There are some things you can never prepare for. Take the 70 grand and run. Michelle, it's a no-brainer. Robert's hearing us tomorrow. We won't get a better chance. I know that. So what's the problem? <sighs> well? Look, I got into this to punish Robert. I made my peace with that. Fine. But, you know, what if this backfires on the staff? What if this mystery buyer comes in and decides to sack them all or, or treats them like dirt? Yeah, well, that's out of your hands. It, it's not that simple, though, Vicky. No offence, but it's a wee bit late to be rubbing gravel in your hair. <laughs> what, you can't be naive to think that you would come out of this lily white smelling of roses? No matter what way you slice it, this is revenge, and revenge is always ugly. Now, I have no problem with a guilty conscience if it means a fresh start, but see if you don't have the belly for this, no, Michelle. I... I'll make the deal. Okay. And you can reach me on either of these numbers at daytime and evening. Thank you. Somebody will be in contact tomorrow. And once again, I'm deeply sorry for your loss. Thank you. I'm deeply sorry for your loss. Seriously. I must get so bored of saying that. So, I'm officially an orphan. Well, at least for once I'm appropriately dressed for the situation. So, what happens now? Well, I feel, given the circumstances, it might be sensible if you came to live with me, at least in the short term. Nah, I'm good. You shouldn't be on your own. Then I'll call my friends. I'm afraid I must insist. You must insist? Are you for real? Nina, I made a solemn promise to your father that I would look after you. I don't need looking after. I'm not a child or some charity case. Fine. Go wait in the car while I grab some stuff. I'm not happy to wait. Roy, do I have to draw you a picture? I need a moment to myself, please. Yes, yes, of course I... I understand. You know what? I actually think you do. I won't be long. I am. Yeah, and you are. Mr. None of your business. I believe you got a little prezzy for me. Yeah. Are you going to check the paperwork? I'm sure it's all in order. So, been in this line of work long? None of your business. Mm. Fair play. Any other questions? Yeah, yeah, just the one. Strictly between us, like. What's your governor's attitude towards the occasional late payment? You'd have to discuss that with Gary. Oh, person. come on. Just ask him for a bit of a steer. See, the word is, he's a bit of a vicious so-and-so. Look, mate, if you haven't second thoughts, just give me back the envelope. Huh? Right. Then the rest is on you. <laughs> Ready? 
Anyway, where credit's due, as Winter Wonderlands go, this ain't too shabby. Ah, oh, come on, it's a masterpiece, that's what it is. Yeah, as long as it makes a profit. Of course it will. I reckon you're in with the shout. You certainly got the suckers rolling in. <laughs> I mean, valued customers. Well, I've seen a lot of smiling faces coming in. Yeah, that's because people lose their mental faculties at this time of year. I call it seasonal accumulation disorder. Oh. Well, I like to think it brings out the good in people. Well, more importantly, it brings out the wallets. <laughs> and that, my friends, is a true miracle of Christmas. Loving the attitude makes me feel all warm and fuzzy inside. <laughs> anyway, this key's building up. I better get it right. Knock them dead. They'll be here soon. No doubt. As soon as the sand on the bottom line. Yeah, I'll let you know. We are doing the right thing. Mm. Come on. No, he's being naive. There's nothing right about any of this. Still, if they send Robert down, I suppose it'll all be over, won't it? Oh! Are you okay? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm grand. Well, you don't look very grand. In fact, you look like you're ready to drop. No, it's, uh, it's just Braxton Hex. That's fine. Vicky, look, you just worry about getting us paid, okay? Go make that day. I really think I should take you to hospital. I said go. This isn't my first rodeo, in case you haven't noticed. All right. But listen, if you start getting contractions, you will be the first to know. Go on, singer. <laughs> See ya. Hey, Gemma! Are you just doing some last-minute Christmas shopping? Oh, no. Mott and Brainy, I ran out of formula for the quads. Big mistake. Them lot, they take hungry to the next level. Oh. But I thought you were breastfeeding. I am. It's just I can't make enough milk for four of them. Well, you know, you should have let me pop to the shops for you. Thanks, but to be honest, I was glad to escape. Even so, just want you to know I'm here to help you. Yeah, that goes without saying. How have you been anyway? It's been ages since we had a proper chinwag. Well, you know, uh, filling my day oh. and... Uh... I've got to go. I'll let him have it to having a proper meltdown. I need to get back. Lovely seeing you, though. And you. Yeah, don't be a stranger! No. Evening. Oh, thanks for doing that. No sweat. Unopened and untampered with. Hmm. You sure? Absolutely. Did he say anything about me? Not a sausage. Nothing at all? No. I tried to get him to dish the dirt, but he didn't bite. He was actually quite assertive. Mm. You know, I, I still think it's a bit of a risky play, though. Risky? Well, what if you've gone straight to the police? That paperwork could be used as evidence against you. What? You mean this paperwork? <laughs> if I was wearing a hat, I'd tip it to you. <laughs> How is she? Resting. Look, I hope you don't mind. I had to put Nina in your bedroom. Yeah, of course. I, I, I did offer her my room, but I could see she wasn't keen. Roy, it's fine. Honestly, don't think any more about it. I'm really sorry. <laughs> Do you know how he died? Well, not as yet. According to the paramedics, probably a heart attack. Mm. Mum's carer must be in bits, you know, with that happening on their watch. A carer wasn't there. What? I should never have left him. But Richard assured me that this person was on their way. Oh, come on, Rui, you can't blame yourself, OK? Your brother was very sick. That doesn't alter the fact my brother died alone. OK. All right, look, you're angry. I get... I get why. But right now, you need to let yourself grieve. No. What I need are answers. And I'm going to get some. Oh. 
time is it? Uh, just after five. Oh, really slept. Nina, I'm, I'm really sorry about your dad. Next two of us. Either way, I kind of hijacked your room. Yeah, I'll let you off. Seriously, you've got the nicest pillow. Might want that back. Is Roy around? Oh, no, he's just he's nipped out. Where to? Well, uh, uh, maybe you should speak to him yourself, you know, when he gets back. Or maybe you could just tell me now. OK, he's gone to speak to somebody from the company who provided your dad with care. Speak about what? About what happened to your dad today. He died. It's no one's fault. I know, but, but I don't think Roy quite sees it like that. As far as he's concerned, they're still negligent. I'm not with you. Negligent how? Well, for not showing up today. I mean, Roy only left because your dad said the carer was on the way. I can get on. Are you saying my dad was alone? <sighs> uh, you guys can take five. <clears throat> How's it going? I'm considering going professional. <laughs> You enjoying yourself then? Actually, I'm having the time of my life. <sighs> Which is more I can say for you. I take it Grace and uh, Tiana are still no show. They'll be here soon. Do you know that for certain? Call her. No, I don't want to hassle her. Ask him for an ETA. Don't make you a stalker. Well, she'll get here when she gets here. She can't leave you hanging like this. It's not fair. Well, OK, so I ring her. She, she gets to home, blows me out, then what? Then you're no worse off. But at least you're not twisted up inside like you are now. <sighs> Try and sound relaxed. Easy for you to say. There you are. You're starting to think you've done a runner on me. I, uh, I delivered the envelope like you asked. To give you any hassle? Nope. Walk in the park. Good. I'm not really sure about it myself. Did you ask about me? Yeah, he asked, but, you know. Anyway, uh, listen. This is, uh, this is half of what I owe you. Half? It's all a good scrum job. Oh, yeah, guys, I, but... I believe you. I just can't accept it. Gary, please, come on, mate. Come on, it's the best I could do. Gary. All right. All right. Do us a favor, leave the face alone, yeah? Mum's got enough stress at the moment. Hey, well, you calm yourself down. I'm not going to touch your face. I mean, what do you think I am? <laughs> I, um, I don't understand. OK, so I've decided to give you a payment holiday. Basically, you're off the hook until the new year. It's a joke. Hey, now, come on, you know, I don't joke about money. Let's just call it a early Christmas present. OK. Hey, and who knows? Maybe I'll have a few more jobs for you. Really soon. I cannot wait to see a darling little face. It's really great you're making an effort, Mum. This is my granddaughter. <laughs> Grace is an unfortunate plus one. Well, it still means a lot to Michael. Hey, up the back then. <clears throat> Merry, Merry Christmas! Christmas! Where are they? I'm still on the way. Where are they coming from? The moon? I'm sure it's got a good reason. In other words, you haven't got the first clue what's going on. What excuse has she given you? None. You have spoken to her? No. No? I kept on getting a voicemail. 
I knew this would happen. Well, they could still turn up. Yeah, and pigs might fly. Believe what you want, yeah? Until I know otherwise, I'm staying optimistic. <laughs> you know what? That boy's deluded. Boy, he's hurting big time, so cut him some slack, yeah? Thanks for seeing me at such short notice. I'm just trying to clear the decks before Christmas. So, I'm assuming you made a decision? Yep. I've decided to accept the offer. OK. Well, given the circumstances, that's probably the smart thing to do. Mm. How quickly can you push the deal through? Yeah, fairly rapidly, I'd say. And how feasible would it be to add maybe a condition of sale? What sort of condition? The sort that protects my staff afterwards. You mean like a transfer of undertakings? If that's what it's called, yeah. Michelle, your staff have rights, but I can't add a treat them like family stipulation to the oh, contract. I know that. I know. Look, if you want to take some more time, I'm happy to hit the brakes. Of course, that will probably mean a revised offer. And by revised, you mean lower, right? Almost certainly. I'll just forget it. Ignore me. If they're willing to do this quickly, then I'm willing to sell. I guess I'll just have to hope for the best moving forward, won't I? That's all you can ever do. I'll contact Lucy first, then. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Everything all right? I really thought I might be able to trust you. Well, of course you could trust me. What would possess you to think otherwise? I'm sorry, Roy. I thought she knew. You know, knew what? That you abandoned my dad. That's not true. Did you? Or did you not leave him alone? Y yes. Then there's nothing else to discuss. Nina, just, just hear him out, all right? I didn't want to leave. Richard insisted. He assured me that the carer was on their way. If I thought for one moment that that wasn't the case, I would never have gone. You shouldn't have listened to him. He was checking in with him constantly. And you think that lasts you off the hook? My dad, your brother, is dead because you couldn't keep your word to me. All right, I get that you're upset, OK, but that's a bit unfair. Unfair? I'll tell you what's unfair. Losing the only person in the whole wide world that loves and accepts me unconditionally. It's unfair that a kind and wonderful human being died alone and abandoned. And it's unfair that my dad was stupid enough to put his faith in someone like you. OK, you need to wind your neck in now, young lady. Maybe you couldn't have saved him. But you weren't even there to try, and that's why I'll never forgive you. Dad and me are off to the pub. You fancy coming? No, you're all right. You need to have a formal arrangement, son. A set time to see Tiana and a set day. It's just a mix-up. Chaos is what it is. Not only that, it's cruel. Cruel to you and cruel to that poor little girl. Grace is a free spirit, OK? She doesn't like to plan ahead. Free spirit, my foot. She doesn't want to lose her hold on you, more like. You don't understand her. You never have. Oh, I understand that, Grace girl, all too well. What happened to leaving it alone? No, he needs to hear this. That woman has got you right where she wants you. You mark my words, today's debacle was no accident. I put too much pressure on her. She said she wanted to take it slow and I didn't listen. Oh, Lord, help us. That woman scrambled his brains. This ain't helping. You know what? I give up. She might be right. No, you stop. I just wanted to make my little girl smile. Is that too much to ask? I'll be all right, Dad. You can go. She said, you know, it's just grief talking. You did your very best for Richard. Mm. Like I did my best for Hayley. Oh, come on, you, you can't compare the two. It was completely different. No, there is one similarity. I remain with the living, and they don't. Having failed my brother in life, I'm now failing him in death. Oh, OK, all due respect, and speaking as someone who's turned self-torture into an art form, 
You're talking nonsense. You could not fail someone if you tried. I promised to take care of Nina. Yeah, and you've not broken that promise. She was in my care barely half a day and already I've driven her away. Okay. So you've not got off to the best of starts. The question is, what are you going to do about it? Next, Thomas opens up in an emotional and shocking showdown. It's the finale of our new drama, Sticks and Stones. And miss the tips on the best festive food and drink? Catch up with How to Spend It Well at Christmas with Philip Schofield on ITV Hub. Mm-hmm.